Hey everybody, this is a training on how to use the Way of Life Habit Tracking app. Right here, you can see on the top right corner here, second one down is the Way of Life app. You're gonna download that from the App Store, just search Way of Life and download it. And when it comes up, your screen will be blank, but I'm gonna show you, obviously I've been working on some habits so that you could see what it looks like and how to use the program. When you come in, your screen will be blank and you're gonna hit this hamburger symbol or the three lines in the top left corner and click on new journal. This is where you'll put in a new habit, whatever your new habit is that you would like to work on. So let's say we are adding a habit of a bedtime routine. Bedtime routine from nine to 10 p.m. This habit is good for us, so we're gonna mark it as yes, so that it shows up green when we complete it. If you're working on a habit that you're trying to break, then you can mark it as no, this is a bad habit that I'm trying to get out of. Um, and that will mark it as red when you complete it. So going to save that. And now we go back into the journal tracker right here. It will always have you going on today's date. And so let's, these are the, some of the habits I've been working on. I just added this one in here. So let's go back. I've obviously missed a few days on my exercise habit tracking. So you're gonna click on the line where this habit is, and then you can just click previous days to go back and adjust or change those days. So yesterday I did exercise, so I'm gonna mark that as yes, complete. One thing you can do is with sugar, we have a day of the week where we plan in when you're going to have your sugar. So I have planned in on Tuesday that that was the day that I was going to consume my sugar. So I'm gonna mark it as skip that day. I didn't mark it as yes, I didn't mark it as no. By marking it as skip, I know I don't need to complete it that day, but it won't affect my streak. If I'm going for multiple days in a row, trying to get as many days as I can, I am going to mark that day as skip and it won't count against my streak. You can also come in here and write a note. So in here, I wrote the note that this was my planned sugar day and I had one serving today. So I can know that that little mark or that little note is there because the corner of that box is folded down. So let's say that I need to go back here and change this one. I actually did complete my sugar that day. Again, you can go back and check out previous days, mark those things off. Scrolling down, let's go back to Monday. I did this on Monday and Tuesday. I didn't do it on Wednesday and I'm gonna skip it on Thursday for some reason, but just to show you guys how to do that. So then today, I obviously haven't gone to bed yet. So that one, I should not have marked that off. So the next thing I want to show you guys is that up here in the top right corner, if you click on this little calendar button, it will show you your habits by the month. Over here, they click it again and it'll go back to a week tracker. And then this is a month tracker. You guys know how much I value the two month time period in tracking your habits. So this is a super valuable tool. Again, if you wanna go back further and see it more, you can scroll back through um, by just scrolling across, pulling your finger to the right. Or you can come down here to the bottom and click on trend. And this can take you back all the way two years of habit tracking. You're able to track something for two years. This app is awesome. It's so simple and there's so much data in here for, to help you figure out exactly what is going on. It's so awesome. I love it so much. You can track your individual habits and see how those are going. You can track all these different things. It's just so simple and so easy to use. Again, you can find your notes that you've left for yourself. Okay, I left a note for myself on this day. And the last thing I want to show you is click on the setup button down here. This reminder at the top is an alarm that you can set for yourself. So right now I have an alarm set at 10 a.m. every day to move these habit concepts that I want to have in my life from my subconscious to my conscious. When I hear that alarm bell go off and when I see this reminder, it reminds me to prioritize those things. So if you have multiple habits, multiple times a day, let's say you have a habit that you do at 6 a.m., set yourself an alarm for 6 a.m. and type in what is the message. It's time to update your journal or whatever the habit may be. And this alarm will now go off every day at that time. Then you can come in and set another one for 10 p.m., let's say, or 9 p.m., let's say that for that bedtime habit, you want a reminder there. 9 p.m. every day. You can do certain days of the week. You can just do it on Mondays, Tuesdays, whatever. However you want to do it, hit save in there. Oh, and then we could leave a little note for ourselves. To remind ourselves of what the goal is. 
And again, these are just um, notifications that will come up like an alarm on your phone. It's so awesome. I super love this app. I'm not affiliated with Way of Life at all. And it is a free app if you are tracking three habits or less. You guys know how much I love the number three. So that works perfectly for what I do. And if you want to upgrade to be able to track more habits like I'm doing here, you can upgrade by a one-time purchase of $6.50. So it's not an expensive app. I love it because it's cheap, but I really love it because it is simple, straightforward, and so incredibly useful. I love this app. It's by far the best habit tracking app of all of the ones I have looked up. In the last several months, I've been going over and sorting through and um, trial testing a whole bunch of these apps. This by far is my favorite. So I hope you guys are able to use this tool and you find it useful. Hope you found this training useful. All right, catch you later.